So I've got my orders pulled up uh, to get ready for some of the things that need to go out from uh, the weekend sales. Uh, I've also got my uh, trusty uh, Radon family uh, coffee ready to go. And so um, we're gonna get to work pulling some of these things. And if you see some things around, uh, the life of a reseller uh, is always in disarray because you constantly have items coming in uh, from uh, new inventory that needs to sell. So. You know, we may sell, you know, over a hundred items a week. And so if you have 600 and some odd items, 700 items like we do in our store, I mean, that's a big portion of your store. So you constantly uh, need to be replenishing your store to keep yourselves up. So anyway, I'm going to get started. And uh, so I'll show you kind of what that looks like for us. But so I've got our orders pulled up uh, so I can kind of tell and it'll tell me where these are skewed. Uh, and it does have some sellers names on here. So I'm not going to show really up close or it has their username which probably isn't a big deal but we'll uh, let that go so the first thing that i've got is a set of led headlights and a behringer uh, euro pack cell mixer these are in uh, skew dg uh, and luckily these are on top here so this is led headlights we probably paid seven dollars and 49 cents for that and then this is that mixer this just sold for 65 dollars. i think i paid like 20 bucks for this at a yard sale I mean, sorry, at a flea market, and then this was at the bin store. Um, so the the LED headlights sold for $37.45. And then so the next thing that sold, I already pulled because it's an absolute beast. So it's kind of hard to pull and film because I don't have my mount with me right now. But this is a Breville uh, coffee maker. Probably paid around 20 bucks for this. This sold for a hundred and ten dollars plus the buyer pay and shipping. So all in the buyer paid of like $146 for this. So Good to see that cleared out. The next thing is on shelf 9C, which is a Cuisinart food processor 14 cup work bowl. And it just sold for $24. And I'm sorry, actually two of these sold. One sold for $34.99 and another one sold for $25. Um, so one is for a DLC 10 and then one is a more modern day one. So one is in shelf 9C. So um this is shelf nine and it says c but i'm pretty sure this is actually b so we have it skewed a and then this is b so we'll get this pulled here and next up is in 23 so 23 is right here the michael jordan bin and let's take a look and see this one right here. So this is another Cuisinart. I believe this is probably the cheaper one. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, so we'll get that ready to go out. And I'll have to be careful whenever we're shipping these to make sure. But it's pretty ironic that those both sold. Next up was a $140 sale of this Cleveland Tour Action Golf Clubs. Probably paid like 10, 12 bucks for this whole set. Uh, if I remember, maybe $20 for this whole set. But it sold for $140 and the buyer pay and ship and so the buyer paid hundred and seventy nine dollars and thirty six cents all in so we'll go over here to my trusty golf store and i apologize for the lighting over here but this is where we keep most of our golf clubs and i recently had somebody come and do work on our house and he was i was like he had to come into the basement these are nikes and I was like, we do online reselling because I was kind of embarrassed at how crazy it was down here. And he was like, he's like, I just thought you like to play golf a lot. And so I believe these are them. And we do like to play golf this much. And some of these have come unattached. So we'll get this pulled. And normally we'll kind of attach these with bubble wrap, but I think these got disturbed somehow and have come a little bit apart, but not a big deal. So this, some of our boxes, but this is our set of golf clubs that's going out. And so these are the tour action clubs. I think I found these at a thrift store and um, I think they charge like a dollar or two per iron. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe, yeah, close to $20 after taxes. 
uh, for this set. So $140 plus the buyer paying shipping. So let's see what else we've got going here. Um, another thing in the Dollar General bin is going to be snap-on tool that can be bought somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. I know it's going to be red. This is some kind of uh, timing light. The Snap-on is a really good brand to be on the lookout for from a tools perspective. So anytime you see it and it's reasonably priced, I'm not 100% sure what he paid for that, but I'll try to flash it on the screen if I can find out. Uh, but that just sold for $89.97. Next up is an Olympus VN voice recorder. Also in DG, this was not a big seller, $14.99, but I imagine we didn't pay much for this at all. And this is like in a small package that we will find. So, had to do some digging, but uh, here is that Olympus voice recorder, $14.99. Probably have a couple bucks into that if I had to guess. And then the next thing that's going out is a Don Joy ankle also in dg dg i might as well just pull the whole dg bin but this is an ankle brace that we bought at a bin store recently so here is that ankle brace um this don joy can be really good especially the knee braces uh this one um we bought for seven dollars and 49 cents i think it was loose in a bin and maybe we sold this at a bin store and we sold this as pre-owned. So this guy just sold for $34.99. Another thing that's going out is in bin 27. So this has been 27 and it's this pair of Nikes. They just sold for $35 free shipping. Uh, so not, I probably paid like six bucks for these or maybe these could have been at a yard sale too. I can't remember cause we bought so many shoes, but probably in the two to $6 range. Uh, $35 free ship and so probably make about 15 bucks off of those shoes so not the biggest seller but I mean certainly take it they're super easy to ship as well um, next thing going out is a night uh, another LED set in SKU number seven um, so finally another SKU is gonna get the the love here so we'll pull those LED headlights from there so here's our LED headlights. These sold for $40. Also, you'll notice the theme. Bought these at a bin store, $7.49. Again, these LED headlights don't sell for a ton, but they sell well for whatever reason. So uh, we generally pick them up. Uh, some of them can even be unbranded and you can still sell them uh, decently well. So the next thing that we have going out is a Breville um, Juice Fountain Plus Shoot Bowl. And so this is in bin 29, or we'll call it box 29. And so I believe this is exactly what it is. And then this just sold for $22.99, $23. So not a big seller, but this, you know, certainly was parted off and will do really well with the overall um, deal there and then so the next thing that's going out and as you can see the bottom of my computer so I don't have to show anyone's username is a snap-on uh, 45 minute battery charger it's in custom label 28 where we just were so we will pull this so it's down here in the dark depths of bin 28 so we'll pull this snap-on again like I said earlier that one's a very good brand to be on the lookout for. This actually just sold for $54.99, this little guy. So um, I imagine we have just a few bucks into that as well. Maybe three or four, five dollars if I had to guess. Next thing is a Bose Wave Radio CD system. Um, this thing just sold for $199 plus the buyer pay and shipping. Um, so the buyer paid $225.91 all in. It's in uh, shelf 2A. So that's uh, shelf one. This is shelf two. As, you can see in our basement and this should not be face down but it is and so it's this Bose system anytime you see these uh, even if they look all yellowy after years of being around they're still worth picking up and then 
Of course, one thing that adds value to these is these little remotes. We actually just sold like three of these remotes that came with this lot and a CD player. That, end, that did not end up working, unfortunately. Um, so the next thing that's going out is in bin number six. It's a Focus iTrack Dock iPad lighting extender great mobile unit so this just sold for $90 and so let's see bin number six so here's bin six and here is our $90 sale um, I'm guessing we probably paid like 10 10 to $20 for this uh, just sold for 90 so uh, glad to see that go up is on shelf 3B. So it's this uh, new wave dome that goes over a convection oven. This is an, an amber. They make these in clear and amber. Uh, this one just sold for $45.99. We bought the entire unit and then parted out. These normally sell the best. Uh, I think I paid $10 for this unit at Goodwill. And as you can see, just this one piece sells for $45.99, which is why we like those. And so next up is another Cusinart piece, which is on shelf 11E. So uh, this is 9, 10, 11, which goes backwards and uh, doesn't necessarily fit a numerical order, but this is shelf E. So we're gonna pull this Cusinart bowl and I've got th three of these things. So, um, or something similar so we're gonna have to be careful like I said earlier uh, when we ship these out and I just want to make sure that this lines up with what it is and I don't think this is actually it oh you check uh, right uh, so you don't send out the wrong thing and so again this is shelf 11 e uh, I believe this just sold for $29 and I'm going to leave this one over here so i can separate it from the others just to, as an added layer of protection um, so the next thing that's going out is on shelf 9e uh, it's a mighty bliss plastic cordless massager that just sold for 50 dollars. so we'll go to shelf 9 and then this is a b c d e so it should be on the bottom here and this is it i believe uh, so we'll get this should be an easy shipper since it's already in a nice hard box uh, So we'll pull that and as you can see How the work really starts to pile up. So it's kind of important to get a jump on all your order pulling The next up is in none other than DG security camera They just sold for $28.99. So we'll go ahead and get that pulled as well. So I got this uh, security camera pulled to the top so I don't bore you with all my shuffling but uh, so this is this and I'm not sure if we I had a good grasp on everything until we bought out another store of someone else's uh, if this came from that but this is definitely looks like a bin store item could have been as high as seven dollars and 49 cents but this just sold for 28.99 and so the next thing I do know that I bought at a bin store is a uh, air compression knee massager this just sold for $43.97 and it is on shelf 11c which I know so this is a this is B this is C and actually got lucky because this is on top uh, paid seven dollars and 49 cents for this at a bin store a couple weeks ago and I can't remember this may have been in one of my previous videos as well and next up if you can Bear with me, it's on shelf 3B, and it's a vintage uh, Wagnerware Sydney Magnolite. Magnolite is a definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for if you're out there, even the old ones. This is shelf 3B, and so we're gonna get this guy packaged up and ready to go as well. So we'll set this with our chaos. And next up that's going out is on shelf 4D. And so this is a rainbow E2 main unit. And so we will go ahead and grab that guy as well. So as we walk over to back here, shelf 4D. Um, so this rainbow down here, 
just sold. So we'll get this hoss ready to go. And I'm just gonna set him on the ground right there. And another DG or Dollar General sale is a lacrosse head that Camden just bought, I believe at a thrift store the other day. Uh, it just sold for $29.45, so we'll get this. So the Dollar General bin, and here is that lacrosse head that was new with tags. I think he got this at a thrift store as well for just a few dollars. Uh, so we will get that packaged up. It sold for $29.45, so not a huge seller, but still a quick turnaround. I think we just listed that maybe a couple days ago. So next item is this rainbow hose. Uh, we probably paid around a dollar, maybe less than that. I think we got this in the We Got Hosed episode. If you saw that where we were at a flea market and just bought a mighty lot of these. So this one little hose just sold for $31.50. So we'll get that packaged up as well. Next up going out is below the Dollar General bin and bin number four and this should be in a walmart bag this is some dyson pieces and uh we will check to see what that is but these just sold for 30 dollars and uh so we'll get these out to their new home and uh so this is what these look like so these little attachments for some dyson vacuum cleaner i can't remember which one it is uh but it was in the listing so 30 dollars and these will also be pretty easy to, to get out. So the next item going out, and this was actually on my last video, I bought this uh, vintage Crossfire game. Uh, I believe this is from maybe the late 80s. And uh, I do remember these commercials when I was a kid, uh, seeing these two kids play here. But um, this just sold for $59.99 plus the buyer paying shipping. So pretty cool to see this go out. I uh, bought this for $7. $59.99 plus ship and then hopefully uh, somebody can uh, play with this and reminisce from their childhood uh, but I definitely remember this uh, game when I was a kid so happy to see that go out uh, next thing that sold and I believe this sold for like 35 bucks is in the Dollar General bin which has gotten all the love today uh, but honestly the reason for that is because a lot of our recent listings were in that Dollar General bin uh, but this is a police scanner and so we just recently bought this, and I don't remember how much. I will uh, find out and uh, let you know, but uh, another good sell and easy to ship as well. Next going out is over here uh, in bin 20, and it is this uh, Jack Lolan uh, juicer. I think this uh, juicer piece, uh, this is like the attachment that goes onto the side of those, and this just sold for, I believe, $25. So. Uh, you can see me stepping around the things that we've already packed up but um so really good sale we generally buy these and then just uh part those out and this actually sold for 23.99 so uh easy to get out as well and we probably don't hardly have any money into this whatsoever maybe like two dollars if i had to assign a cost to it get to work but uh, a couple things i'm going to show you that we use quite a bit and you'll see if you see any of our packing sped up videos uh, that I may show you in this episode, but you'll see us use this a lot, which is a tape dispenser and then uh, this scale. I mean, we use a ton of other things too, as far as like, you know, sizing boxes and uh, obviously the boxes you do need as well. But the shipping scale is very important so we can see how much items weigh. And then this tape is just quick access so we can kind of be efficient whenever we're packing and go as fast as possible. Uh, we also do use uh, these tape guns. I believe this is a three inch um, dispenser and then we have the, the smaller ones as well. Obviously we use bubble wrap and uh, we also use paper, but I, I do like to have these handy so we can just you know fire away whenever we're packing these orders. what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way 
Caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place, see Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself You won't understand it All alone, that's okay People like it, stand them They don't want me to change Keep me where I'm standing And I don't want to be where I am And I want Act, um, From the weekend sales And so we use these bags And um, to fill up the bag And so we pull our car around to the back And these are items that we have to list But these are the items that we still need to load and so we'll get these bagged up and uh, get ready to have these sent to the post office tomorrow. So behind me is our finished product of everything that we've packed that's going to go out tomorrow and we've already got it loaded up so as you can see it's quite the, uh, quite the extensive pile there and there's a couple items in here that um, I kind of paid the price for. So. The two of these boxes, and we haven't done this in a long time, but uh, we had our pirate ship set to choose the cheapest option. Um, and so if you put something in a white priority box, you have to send it priority mail, otherwise uh, it'll get returned. And so, um, so two of these boxes, we accidentally printed off uh, Parcel Select, which is a little bit cheaper of an option through USPS. And these two items got returned. So that's probably going to be like a $40 mistake on our part. So uh, lesson learned, uh, if you do have pirate ships that on cheapest option, you definitely need to look anytime you use those white boxes because they, they, it has to be a priority label. So learned our lesson there. And uh, so we're going to get these still sent out, even though we're, we're going to eat the cost, maybe 40, 50 bucks uh, worth of uh, shipping that we uh, had to pay for because of our mistake. So anyway certainly be aware of that so uh now um i'm gonna think i'm gonna show you guys what some things uh that we bought yesterday uh out uh at a flea market we went to a bin store as well i may show you one item from there uh i feel like maybe the bin store we're ready for yard sale season i think the bin store stuff is getting worn out but um the flea market was really good to us we found one particular vendor uh that we made a bundle deal for a hundred bucks so uh, I'm, I think I'm going to show you that, maybe one item from the Ben store, and uh, so you can get an idea of how we did yesterday. So the highlight of our uh, Ben store visit, and this is probably the only thing I'm going to show you from there, but we got uh, quite a few other things as well, but like I said, I think <laughs> it's getting uh, a little worn out, um, so I thought I would just mix it up a little bit and show you some more of our flea market items, but uh, I found this uh, Berkey light water purifier, and Everything was $7.49 if you account for taxes. And um, so this was a really good find. Um, so this is a water purification system. And I looked through there and I'm pretty sure that, you know, that we're gonna be able to sell this as open box. I don't, uh, it doesn't really show any signs of being used, but I mean, there's comps that go, you know, in the 300 to $400 range. So for $7.49, that was a uh, super cool find. So uh, super happy about that. And uh, we'll get it listed up and maybe keep you guys posted uh, whenever that sells. So uh, I don't know how well the lighting is going to be here, but um, actually that's our listing light. I'm going to turn that around there. But uh, we bought all of these things for $100. So this flea market we've been to many times. But the thing is, is that this flea market, it makes no sense when it comes to the schematics of this place. So like you can, it, you'll be walking down a row and then it de like dead ends and then turns right and then turns left. And um, one building leads into like a, uh, like a breezeway where there's people selling things. And so it's so hard to like just go down logical rows 
at this particular flea market. So we found this guy that um, has like a ton of like things that we resell on a regular basis. And we told him some of the things that we like and he's like, oh, I've got a mini storage full. I'm gonna bring that back. So I told him definitely golf clubs we like, um, you know, the vintages, vacuum cleaners and things of that nature. So um, really nice guy. And so uh, we went and uh, now I know where his booth is. So we're definitely gonna go back there next week and, and see this guy because he was really good to us, super nice. And um, definitely wanna help him out with his store as well. But uh, we bought everything that you see here for a hundred bucks. So this uh, KitchenAid, uh, the, this is just the uh, stand mixer. It didn't have any of the accessories with it, but um, definitely still something that we can sell. Uh, I still gotta test it out, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. Um, I got this uh, tailor-made R9 driver from him. You can see it's really scuffed up there, uh, but this is still a good driver and that's just dirt, so that'll clean up uh, nicely. So. I mean, I still think that's probably like a, you know, $40, $45 uh, driver there. So this is a Bose um, system. Uh, and so I don't, I think we'll, we'll probably list this for parts. Uh, Camden said that he was doing his research on this and there's like 200 listings for parts only, which means it certainly has a uh, history of failure uh, or breaking this particular model. but. Um, I think you can still sell it for parts only pretty well uh, and not bad for bows in a, in a $100 lot. Um, the other thing that we've sold before are these uh, Auric uh, air purifiers. And so this is an Auric XL. Um, sold one not too long ago as well. So I will uh, probably get the, um, the leaf blower out again. Kind of a good hack to clean these things. Uh, I've got a backpack blower and uh, so I just cleaned one recently that way and uh, it works really well actually uh, and so I mean it can make like the filters and those things almost look brand new. Um, I bought another one of these. I bought one of these last week. This is um, one of these Auric XLs. So I know these things sell for like 60, 70 bucks pretty well. Um, they're these you know light handheld vacuums. Uh, we also got this uh, shark cordless steel. These things sell really well too. Uh, you know, probably in the forty to fifty dollar range. And so, um, we also got these uh, little drumstick things. I don't know what these sell for, but you know, we toss this into our lot. And uh, they're kind of like those air drums that you play, and then they make noise. Um, so I'm sure that we'll figure out something. Uh, to do with those uh, probably definitely could annoy the family with those uh, and the classic these are like uh, ATM machines uh, TI 84s they are gonna sell always so this could I mean pay for like 50 60 percent of the entire lot of things that we bought and um, also this is some kind of mix amp deal um, that we in. I think this thing has cops in the $60, $70 range as well. And then lastly, from this particular gentleman, we bought this, uh, we threw this Dyson ball in. And it's uh, it's kind of dirty, but we're gonna probably, we were looking at this and we're probably gonna part it out. Um, I think um, the power nozzle, we just sold one of these power nozzles. I think it might sell for like $40, $50. Another part sells for like $60. Um, so. Uh, we will uh, we'll have a ball. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> a little dad joke there, but um, we will, you know, get this cleaned up and pieced out. And I think we're going to end up doing really well. So um, anyway, super happy to, about that, and and maybe um, uh, excited about any kind of relationship that we may be able to forge with this gentleman because it seems like he has like a mini storage full of stuff, and he. Uh, like buy stuff from people and um, like you can trade things with him uh, so I don't know we'll, we'll see how that goes and we found other things at the um, flea market as well uh, but I just wanted to show you the, the $100 lot uh, I'm just looking we got a Abu Garcia reel uh, that we bought for 40 50 bucks so we think we can sell for like a hundred hundred I mean around 150 bucks we bought a Hilti um, some kind of Hilti tool 
uh, maybe like a nail gun of some sort. Uh, we've sold those before. I think that um, we bought it for, uh, I believe like, oh, $55, because we kind of went back and forth with this gentleman. We think we can sell it for $150. Um, we bought some Octonaut toys, uh, which we uh, still, I think it's a newer Octonaut um, deal. We've sold um, that many times before in the past, maybe, well, not many, but maybe three or four times. So I think we'll do pretty well with that as well. So all in all, a really good day yesterday. And I didn't show you all the Ben stuff uh, that we found, but um, I think you uh, get the point that we had a pretty good sourcing day yesterday. So anyway, um, we will... Uh, have at it again next week from a sourcing perspective and maybe see uh, how well we can do that booth and maybe next time I'll have my gear and uh, possibly film our interaction with that gentleman as well. So uh, anyway, super happy about that.